Once upon a time, a girl awoke in the forest. She looked left and she looked right, but nothing around her seemed quite right. The name within her rang a bell. She had no mouth and could not yell. The girl was frightened, wanting to cry. Little did she know there was a friend nearby. With no one else to trust or know, she followed the deer into the unknown. As her journey briskly began underway, the girl wished for her bed oh so far away. A choice presented that she cannot resist, to choose what she knows or what does not exist. With the choice made, the girl carried on, away towards the cabin where she does not belong. Locked out or locked in, no one can say. A locked door tells strangers to stay away. Not one for manners, the girl peeks inside, seeing that which the cabin was so keen to hide. A damsel in distress, how very creature. Her cries the girl's presence to the creature betray. Whoa! Don't scare me like that! Sorry, it was just... Have you ever dreamt something that was, like, super lifelike? Uh, yeah, every night. That's what dreaming is. No, 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 no. but this dream, it was... It was so lifelike that it almost felt real. I don't know, this dream, it was just weird. I don't think any of us have that. Look, just forget about it. It's not like it's actually real. I know, but it just didn't feel natural. The dream changed. It got dark. And there was this girl. She was in danger. What if, what if I need to help her? Vienna, it's just a dream. Nothing else. Don't look too much into it. Look, I gotta go to class. But find something else to think about, okay? Oh, okay. Jonah Garrett Manazzo, Case Study 54B, 1987. Jonah was checked into Hopkins Mental Institution claiming he had bad dreams and that there was a man after him. Case Study 34C, 1999. He woke up with bruises and would constantly be up. High school student Mel, a bright valedictorian, was seen jumping off her high school street. Case floor. Study 56B, 1976. He was found dead the morning after October 31st. David, a painter, claimed to his local neighbors he was experiencing hyper-realistic nightmares and would scream in his dreams. It has been rumored that his blood turned a weird purple color and that a skinny man was seen from afar. Police claimed he had sharp teeth. time to take in the sights and the sounds. Back to the cabin she runs in leaps and bounds. No time for decisions, no time for thought. Back to the damsel whom she found distraught. Turn back, turn away, the deer seemed to say. This plot I must thwart, the girl gave in retort. No, you must not, the deer said for naught. Don't be absurd, was the girl's final word. Everything 
it's gonna be okay. God damn it, Carrie, it's not gonna be okay. You have to believe me. I heard the fucking thing. I know this girl is in danger. She was all beaten up, and look, look, I got this bruise on my forehead. I'm just trying to save her. Oh, that's, that's intense, but... Could it also be possible that you got your bruise because you hit your head on the desk? I mean, I walked into the room and you were knocked up cold right there. No, I'm absolutely certain that my bruise is from my dream. Vienna, you can't get a bruise from a dream. But where was the damsel? How could she find her? The answer's waiting, right behind her. I hope you will forgive my silencing the interloper. The only voice I wish to hear is yours, Vienna. What did you do to the girl? Nothing I wouldn't do to myself, of course. You don't scare me. Where is she? She stands before you still, my dear. Don't tell me your infatuation is tied so closely to appearances. No. I know you're afraid, but do not fret, my dear. No, no, no. I need to wake up, 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 wake up. I only wish to be there for you. When the world is dark and there is nowhere left to turn, I'll be there to make it all go away. I promise to be always with you, now and forevermore. She overcame her dreaded fear as the nightmare lurked so near. Vienna fought and killed the beast. From her chains, she was released. No one would ever know of the battle, but it didn't matter because Vienna lived happily ever after. And so did he. Ha 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 